the team make camp at the foot of the mountain. While climbing specialist Tim Fogg prepares the equipment, Justine and Steve will spend a day exploring nearby caves for wildlife. I'm not into furry, cuddly stuff. I'm more into the kind of things that most people hate. If it's slimy, if it's got loads of legs, then I'm happy. And I think there's lots of that sort of stuff around. So for me, this place is paradise. Steve heads off in search of his favorite animals, snakes. Justine has a personal goal, to film one of Borneo's greatest wildlife spectacles. She's heading for one of the biggest caves in the world. Wow, it's huge. Absolutely huge. That is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. This whole mountain is like a Swiss cheese. It's just full of holes. And these passages just lead into, well, no one really knows where they lead, but they all connect up in this incredible labyrinth that goes throughout the mountain. This cave is 100 metres high and two kilometres long. Wow, well, that's an absolutely amazing view. And it's also home to over three million bats. At dusk, Justine's hoping to capture their mass exodus on film. But they'll only fly if the weather's right. We've actually got some blue sky as well. It's a real treat. We better get this camera set up quite quickly and then, and then we'll film the bats, hopefully, if they come out. Steve's exploring a nearby cave with Mutan. His tribe have lived in this forest for generations. He's looking for snakes. Oh, wow. Well, oh, crumbs, I wasn't expecting that. Mutang, apa itu? Ini tak ada lama pun. Orang mati, mereka di dalam ini. Yeah. Yeah? So these are very obviously ironwood coffins, traditional coffins. These pots were for water, for cooking and for food. I presume it's like an offering, either to the spirits or to the ancestors themselves. The reason everything's broken is because animals have smelt the remains of the dead people and they've come up here and smashed into the vases to feed on the remains. Amongst the pottery lie the disturbing remnants of Mutan's ancestors. OK, so all this stuff was here before his father and before his grandfather, so it's been here for you know, a couple of generations. So we're talking, mungkin seratus tahun lebih. Yeah. So certainly over 100 years, it's, it's all, all been here. These remains are one of the few signs that tribal people have for centuries lived and died in these forests. 